Ugh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys six different setups that you can do in your Animal Crossing island. I literally could not decide on what I wanted to do with my island, so I just did everything. It does require a lot of crafting and some of the later game features. So if you're a beginner, feel free to watch my island designing tips for beginners video or my terraform video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We're almost at 100k. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna cry. In this video, I'll be listing all the furniture that I crafted and bought for every single setup. So I'll be giving away two full sets to two lucky winners in the comments below. I'll literally give you whatever you want and I'll deliver it to your island personally. Alright? I'm trying to be your guys' sugar mama, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get to it! Number one, Farmer's Market! First, I put down a path with a section for the farmer's market and a section for the dining area. I used these azaleas as a replacement for fences, and I also put down tables. I used a cute tea table, but you can easily replace this with any of the crafting recipes such as a wooden mini table, which is super cute when you customize it. Here are some other cute crafting table recipes that you might have. This is optional, but I also added a second floor along with a staircase for a second level picnic area. Here's a list of all the furniture I crafted, furniture I bought, and accent pieces that I used. I think the main furniture item you need to make it look like a farmer's market are the stalls, but after that you can use your own items, find food items, cute tables, make it look all grassy, and there you go, farmer's market. Number two, a library. I put this in front of my museum because I thought it would suit it the most. It was super simple. I used the in-game wooden pathing for the floors, fenced it off with some lattice fences. It's super easy because the only essential furniture you really need to make it look like a library is a wooden bookshelf which you can craft yourself. Here's the furniture I crafted, the furniture I bought, and also the accent pieces that I used. Book stands, books, school desks, anything that looks kind of library-esque really helps the vibe of it. Number three, a shopping center. I wish I put this near my Able sisters in the cranny so it would suit a more shopping center vibe, but I, I got lazy to move it, so. First, I put down wooden floors, which this is a custom QR code. I'll attach it down in the description below. I also fenced it off with some lattice fences, but you can use any fence you want. To make it look like a shopping mall, I just put a bunch of clothing pieces that I already had on it, dresses, overall pieces, hats, accessories. I also ordered a few changing rooms to put in there as well. There's no cashier in the game yet, so I used a desktop computer on top of a stall to make it look like a cashier. Please, Nintendo, make a cashier. There's a cashier in Nook's Cranny shop, so I really hope they just make that a furniture item that we can get. I even added a guy section with some guy clothes and a stereo. Here's the furniture I crafted, furniture I bought, and accent pieces I used. Number four, a stargazing deck. I first placed down the starry grass QR code path which I'll link down below along with the moon and four crescent chairs. I customized the crescent chairs to be different colors and then I scattered star fragments everywhere and voila! This one might be a little bit difficult to do because the star crafting recipes are hard to get since you only get one every time Celeste visit. Along with star fragments which only come when you have the chance to wish upon shooting stars. If you ever hear or see shooting stars, put your camera up, press A, and the next day you should see cute little stars on your shore. I believe you can get around 30 to 40 every single night that you have shooting stars. My tip is to visit islands with Celeste because she'll give you a recipe no matter what island she's on. If you still have a hard time, I ended up just buying the crescent moon chairs from Nukazan. I still needed to get my own fragments though, so make sure to check every single night on your island to see if you have shooting stars. Also, this is my all-time favorite song from Geeky Slider. It's called Stale Cupcakes. I don't know, this song just hits me in the heart. I just want to say that I really appreciate everybody who's been watching my videos. I'm so happy that I can create Animal Crossing content and just really happy content that makes other people happy and that makes me happy. You guys don't know how much it means to me. I read every single one of your comments and it warms my heart knowing that people in the world enjoy watching my videos. Alright, no more cheesy stuff. Let's get to number 6, a zen style deck. This took me forever! I took a part of my island and turned it into a Zen 5 kind of deck center. I don't know if those combination of words made any sense at all. I had to collect a lot of bamboo for this. To get a bamboo island, all you need to do is buy a Nook Miles ticket and you just have to get really lucky. I promise you'll come across one. I promise. Eventually. 
First, I have this bamboo forest I made. I used Zen fencing, made a dark dirt path, added some flowers, and added my bamboo trees. Then over here, I just have a cypress bath section with a low rattan table and a traditional sea set. I made this imperial restaurant style as well. I pretty much based it off the imperial furniture set. I put everything on top of a wooden fort and fenced it with imperial fencing. I know at this point you guys are like, uh, Jamie, where the heck are you getting all your furniture? I don't have this stuff. To be honest, I've played so much that I've gathered a lot of random items off my nook cranny, balloons in the sky, trading with friends. But if there were any items I really wanted, I'd use Nookazon, Facebook pages, or Reddit. I also just traded a lot of furniture, and my stream has a sub discord where we trade furniture as well. And last but not least, I have a small area that's kind of like a spa area. I put down futons, a kotatsu, as well as an outdoor bath. Here's all the furniture I used, the accent pieces I used, as well as all the crafted furniture that I used. And that's it! Yay! I have so many more setup ideas that I want to do, so if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget, I'll be choosing one winner from the comments to get one free full set of any of these setups delivered by yours truly! If you want, you can follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch channel where I just stream random stuff. And also, I'm coming out with my own clothing line soon, so hopefully I can show you guys that one of the items are Animal Crossing inspired. I've been working on this clothing line for around 5 months now, so I'm really excited for the launch. As always, here are my favorite comments from my last video. And also, thank you so much for any fan art that you guys drew for me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I will try my best to reply to any questions down in the comments below. And yeah, bye guys. Have a great day.